Hi guys, it's Archie uh, here with another video. Uh, today uh, I brought my flash, so I've snapped the drive shaft. So the parts have just arrived here today. So let's get started. Uh, so I'm going to set you guys up here. Right. Should be able to see. So let's firstly open up these packages. So guys. Let's get started. I mean, yeah, oh, it's on. Yeah, so I ordered these parts online. So, so, um, should be good to go. So, let's just unbox them. Came with two in a pack, look. Um, so, I'm not going to be changing the whole drive track. Actually, I'm just going to be changing. This component here whether i'm going to need to remove that i don't actually know i think i do so let's find a drill bit well let's find my screwdriver first job. so i've got my driver here i'm using the fast track ones i mean they're the exact same as the Traxxas ones, I just prefer them a bit. So, yeah, I mean, uh, have I got, have I got, have I got the drill that I need? Let's find out in my box of many tools. No, I don't. Uh, oh, yeah, do, do, do. So, guys, if you want to know how to use one of these fast track tools, look, you pull that thing up and you just slot it in like this and push it in and then depending which way you want to turn it just do so the first job is to remove this bolt here this is my first ever chain changing a drive shaft i don't actually know if you have to chain move this component but i'm just doing it i'm removing the camber link just in case i'm going to leave it there so first job guys is to get the drive shaft and I need a bearing. Brilliant. So I've got my bearing here, look. Uh, you need to take the original bearing off. And then what you do is you put your bearing over the top like that. Uh, so you need to just kind of place the bearing on there. And then... Slot this through there, which is perfect, and then um, move that little camber thing. Uh oh, that's an issue. Don't think that's gonna work, guys. So, what I'm thinking is probably I'm going to pull that there, and then that'll never fit actually. So what am I going to do, you might say? Oh, um, well, this is where my genius is just unbelievable. I'm going to do that. And, uh oh, my genius isn't brilliant. My genius really isn't brilliant. Um, um, yeah, well, yeah, we're in, we're in, we're in, boys, we're in, we're in, we're in. Now, I've just got to do that. And my original part that I broke is here. So, I'm replacing all of the axle, because I might as well, while I'm here. So, guys, let's switch out this axle. Um, so, first thing you're going to need is your pin. So, your drive pin is the first component you're going to need, so this thing. And that fits through this little hole, like that. Um, um, that's an issue. So, and then I'm also going to need my hex. I'm going to upgrade these to aluminium soon. So, put your hex pin through. Sometimes you've just got to do a bit of trial and error with them. They're a bit annoying. Uh, probably should, but not going to. Might use a peg to hold them in. I don't know yet. Normally do. 
to dad up and call Bob up. So, just put that there. And then, if guys, you're struggling a bit, just knock it down a peg. And, yeah, there's the hex. Uh, right, so yeah, I've done this a bit wrong, guys. Uh, I'm better, really. So that's the correct pin, yeah? Yeah. Uh, what I need to do is put the pin in like that. Should stay in. And then just go a bit. Try and push it down a bit with something. With this little screwdriver. Do the trick. Yeah, should do. And then all we have to do. So like this and give it a thought. With our oh, pins come out, brilliant. Right. Take two. Uh huh. Chuck the hex pin in. Chuck this pin in, look. So I'm going to come in from this side, actually, to be honest. Might be a smarter pen. Uh -huh. So that should just fit on nicely. Uh-huh, that's not actually going to... Is it not wanting to play ball? Uh, no, it's not. Brilliant. Um. This pin goes on. And what, actually. Uh, this wasn't actually the smartest way of doing it. And it's taken me a while to get this little pin on. So. Should be on now, anyway. So next thing you're gonna need is your wheel. So running the original Texas wheels, why not? So next thing I need to do guys is Get this camera link out. Yes. Sorry, guys. Just gonna try and put this camera link in now, boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, these. Little links were a bit of a pain in the bum, but I mean, there they go. Screw is here, so I'm just going to put the screw in quickly and tighten it up. So, guys, I'm just going to quickly tighten this screw up, up. so I'll make sure that it don't. Oh, yeah, right. Got to do that to get it in properly. Uh, I'm not using electricity because I don't want to... I'm not using my big... Oh, oh, that's gone wrong. That's gone really wrong. I'm not using my electric drills because... Uh, I'm going to get a new screw set for this thing, so I don't want to round any of my screw heads around. Uh, so, yeah, and if I was, I'd do the last little bit and start it with these because, yeah. There we go. Campbell links in. That's right. So got the drive shaft in all right now. So the main bit is fitting the drive shaft through. Obviously, I mean, quite a difficult job. I mean, I mean, I don't always. I mean, I hate wrenched on my cars, but 
I mean, if you're going to break them, you're going to fix them. So, yeah. I was doing a backflip off a tree for this to happen, so... Yeah, it didn't really work. Yeah, right, okay, pin. No need to be so annoying. Yeah, yeah, you're annoying now, man. Little pins annoying me. I mean, normally I just put stuff down when pins are annoying me, but I've, only, I've not got long to do this. I want to go and play with it. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I'm sometimes wearing gloves for wrenching, but today I just can't be out. Put a set on. Um, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A, guys, but I don't know if people are asked questions enough. So, I'll do one, but... I mean, I don't want to do one and then, like, there'll only be, like, five or six, but only be, like, two or three questions. So, now, I need my 7mm uh, device. I need my wheel nut. And all I'm going to do now is chuck the wheel nut on like that and just tighten it up a bit. With the seven millimeter, not the eight mil. I mean, these slashes are just a joy to work on, boys. I mean, first I see it's either one of these or an FTX, and I mean, I know it's like Um, yeah, this wheel's not tightened on properly, I don't think. Yeah, it does, it isn't. I mean, I've done that so many times, gone to tracks. On places and it just threatened to tighten my wheel nuts and then it's all right with like your one eight buggies and stuff because they can what's it called um the nuts are easy to find but when you're using seven and whatever millimeter nuts they're just not yeah i'm, I'm gonna unscrew this i think there's something wrong in there so guys yeah i do that all the time to be fair i would have actually just been better using my Whatever screwdriver. Let's go get that. Hold on. Should be. Should be, should be. Could be, could be. In this toolbox over here. Um, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying playing with these at the moment, guys. I'm absolutely loving some of them. Uh, some of them are getting the same pig to work on. I mean, the arms are horrible to work on, guys. I mean, first I'll see how I mean, I know I've said it before, but you should get one. But if you're not going to work on your arms to ease yourself, guys, don't get one. Seriously. They're an absolute pig to work on. Oh, there, that's the issue. Look, little pins come off. Oh, no. Don't know if I can get the wheel off now. Yeah, I've got the wheel off. So, I know this has been a long video, guys. I'm really sorry. I can't... Can't get this stupid idiot pin in. Um, oh, bugger. Sorry for the boys, guys. I mean, I'm in a bit of a... <clears throat> for right now, but... I mean... It's these little hex pins, in it? Yeah, they drive me insane. They're actually driving me absolutely mad. Because they don't stay in place. They'd be fine if they just made the thingy long enough. But the stupid companies don't. They need to make the pins the exact same size. Because then nobody would have these stupid issues with them. Sorry for getting annoyed. Just really annoying me now. If I put it sideways, it might not do it actually. So I'm gonna try and spin that that way so it's facing sideways. Look, oh, that's better. Look, so now I'm not getting as annoyed. And I need it facing. Stupid. No, oh, it's side. Yeah, there you go. So that should help me a bit. So I can actually put the hex, idiot, stupid pin in without it popping out and annoying me. 
So yeah, guys, I mean, this video's been a bit ragey, to be fair, though. Ragey, you know, companies for putting stupid hex pins in cars and stuff, I mean. I mean, I mean, if they didn't put them in, the cars wouldn't work, so I can't really knock them. Because, I mean, I mean, there are obviously easier cars to work on, but these tractors is because they're fast as well. This one will do 60. And I've clocked it at 60 just about before. Uh, yeah. I mean, the drive shafts are a bit of a weak spot, obviously, guys. I mean, people have said it for the past however long. But the tractor's drive shafts are just completely rubbish. This is the first one I've broken, to be fair, though. But it did break quite easily. It was a bit of a nasty landing on the side, but, I mean, it wasn't... Like a I need a hammer. Oh, I didn't want to do this. This is better. I've got a torque wrench now. This will probably. But the pins, man, the pins. Boys, these pins are so annoying. Uh -huh. Pins are so annoying. I don't understand why they don't just make it just better for the consumers. Oh no, I've not lost a wheel, not have I? Probably out my me. Oh, still my driver. That's smart, actually. Sometimes you just mm, do that. Yeah, no, I annoy myself sometimes. It's getting a bit dark outside, so guys, I don't know if I'm going to play with it today, but if I do, I might make the video, actually. See if it's probably working. Don't know, I drove it on. I must have broken it on Tuesday, right? This company is brilliant, right, that supplied it. The company that supplied it, props to you guys. Um, where's their little pamphlet thingy now? Here, look. Um... There's no emails on here, so there. I got it from Mike at RC2 Girls. RC2 Girls. Mike, call him on 0740155589. They don't always have the parts you need because they buy the cars and just take the parts off them for sale. But the Traxxas ones that came from Model Sport were 30 quid, and I'm not paying 34 quid. For a part that I can buy for 24. I mean, this car needs a rebuild. I've got, actually, look, I've got a whole new drive shaft here, like from the output cup and everything, and I've got another half of one. So, I mean, guys, unbelievable. Because they give you two with the tractor ones, they only give you one. And it's kind of nice. So, I've got these nice little storage boxes here that I just put on my spares in so i'm getting these ready for taking to track at the weekend so it's a long video guys i've got loads of little of these let's just go through all my cars actually see what which are broken and which aren't broken perfect now should be perfect this one, this one should be perfect. That's the one I've just fixed. Um, that thing is broken. Um, that thing, my first ever RC car. I love this thing to bits. Never will sell it. Uh, the receiver's hanging out of it, but that's it. So that's the end of this video, guys. Um, I really hope, hope you enjoyed. Um, I really hope you learn how to fix these as well. I mean, leave leave your Q and A questions. DM them to me on my Instagram x underscore Archie Smith twenty one. DM me on there, and I'll try and do the Q and A next week or the week after. I'll put some on my Instagram about it as well. So, yeah, guys, uh, I've also got one of these now. 
I got one of these. I was gonna do an unboxing video on it, but quality were rubbish, so. Yeah, I suppose. Also, I need a new body for this. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.